Hey. I uh, thought you'd want me to handle it. The cleanup. Did Max and Milo take care of everything around? Not to clean up. I didn't I didn't kill Joe Jr. Why not? John McBang. Joe Jr. has not changed. He's still a liar and a coward. He, he tried to pretend that he didn't remember Kate. Like, like he didn't. He, he swore up and down he didn't rape her. That she came on to him. He didn't make you doubt her. No, I mean, I know them both too well. And I can't even think of Kate as Kanye anymore, but she. She always thought Joe was dirt, tolerated him because I worked for his father. That's why she made plans for us to go away. She was going to college. I was going to get out of the neighborhood, and Joe Jr. stopped all that. Had my finger on the trigger. Just read it. And who walks in? McBain. I said to Mc... I said, look, just look away. Let me do this. He refused. Always the good cop upholding the law. The system, if Joe Jr. walks, he's going to have to live with it. And that's not all he's going to have to live with. Before the cops show up, uh, McBain insisted on questioning Joe on why he killed his sister. Should have left it alone. Why? Because it was McBain's fault she died. for talking to a fed that's what he claims the, the truth is that I, I never saw joe jr pull out a gun on any other dancer so maybe it was more than just him being pissed off because she turned him well, down maybe he wanted mcbain to blame himself mcbain should have known better than to approach his sister in public now he didn't he didn't kill her directly but you know what definitely put her at risk now he's got to carry it. I definitely can uh, can relate to that. You're not sympathizing with with McBain, are you? No, I'm just saying. Well, then you... I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to make any judgments. I can relate. It's my fault. Sam's baby died. I sent the guys after McBain. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get Sam and the baby to the hospital. It's my fault. This is the business we're in. McBain no, knows that more than anybody. He should have known not to provoke you. Sam's baby still died, so he doesn't matter. There's no way of you knowing that she was in McBain's Look, motel room and he just delivered I the baby. I gave the order. It's my responsibility. She, Sam can't forgive me for that. She could have been at her house or at her mother's house or whatever. She didn't have to be nine months pregnant in, his, in a motel room. And then once the baby was born, take a walk into the woods with him. You didn't she, know she that. She was in I... shock. Oh, okay. So you can make allowances for her, but she it's can't nice make allowances It's nice that you're sticking for up you. for me. It's more than just how the baby died. It was the fact that I couldn't promise to accept him until it was too late. Well, you know what? I'm sure that um, Sam still needs you, and she's, she's going to realize it. I'm not so sure. Whatever's going on between her and McBain... Still happening. Out of everyone, Sam reaches out to a cop who's investigating us. Bain delivered Sam's baby. He, he was the only one who actually saw Sam's son when he was alive. Maybe she feels like he's the only guy who, who can understand. So she's shutting you up? Yeah, just like I did to her. When? When she told me that, that Franco was the baby's father. Look, all Sam wanted to hear was that things were going to be okay, and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't say it. Then I found out she's confiding in McBain. I get angry, I shut down. I couldn't say the things that Sam needed to hear. And when I tried, it was, it was too late. Could you have loved the baby? Really? Yeah, yeah, I could have. But Sam doesn't. No, she's, she doesn't believe it. She thinks I'm glad the baby's gone and there's no coming back from that. Like for some reason, you're looking backward. It's, that's not how you think. You got to stop crucifying yourself over things you don't you don't intend, and and stop trying to change everything. That's what you got to do. I'm just trying to figure out how how Sam and I got to this place. Right, right. And and what I'm what I'm supposed to do if if she really doesn't want to be with me, if I'm a constant reminder of of the child she lost, I'm hurting her by hanging on. Well, at this point, I don't think Sam knows what she wants. And you know what? She's in a place where she's hiding her pain with anger. You know, I stopped by the, uh, 
Chinese restaurant where Sam and I got married. You know, just for just for a second, I, I just I wanted to go. I wanted to go inside. I wanted to just to visit that place that we were happy. But you're right, you know. Um, yeah, there's no, there's no looking back. I gotta face, I gotta face what's in front of me right now. I have to accept, I have to accept what I did and what I've lost. You know, sometimes I know that it feels like there's no hope. Look at Kate and me. We've, we've been through, you know, we've been through hell here. I think you and Sam can, can do this. <laughs>